you attended as a participant last year. What sort of change do you think can, can we expect that happens in, in people who attend? Yeah, that's the exciting thing. Seeing these kids, they come along, I guess, looking kind of bored and <laughs> like they don't know if they want to be there so much and a bit, I guess, anxious and nervous and shy and then by the end of it they're, they're talking a lot and they're like, they want to make, they have all these ideas and change and yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. We go through a process of, um, I guess, finding out what their concerns are mm. and then visioning and then talking about how we can make a change and then, I guess, how we can take action. And then on the third day, we have a community forum where we invite all the different people from the community, the mayor and all different mm. kids' parents and everyone to come along and they, they present this forum themselves without any of us helping them. Okay and talk about, I guess, their concerns about the environment and the community and what they want to do to change those issues. Mm -hmm. You look back at previous youth leading worlds around Australia and the, mm -hmm. the changes that have come from that, people starting, I guess, things all around the world, like whether it's mm -hmm. from permablitz to a, the greenhouse in El Salvador, for helping young people and teaching mm -hmm. them about the environment and you know, all different things. Change all, yeah. yeah. Um, green leaf yeah. on the northern beaches, the yeah. There's lots. There is there's lots. a really high potential for change here in a, such a yeah. strong community. I agree. To stand together and Thanks, do it. Joe. No worries.